Okay, so uh, we uh, there are a few new uh, new things happening around the LibreOffice certification. Let me um, start from uh, uh, an overview of what uh, which is the situation today. We uh, have um, a certification going on uh, um, since a few years. Uh, this certification uh, was started uh, uh, in, a, in a rather silent uh, mode uh, just because we wanted to see if it was uh, working, it was uh, the project was as we designed it was, uh, was okay. So we started to certify individuals for their commitment uh, uh, and uh, contribution and uh, uh, we started certifying uh, people in uh, basically three uh, three areas development and support uh, level three support migrations and training so the objective of this certification which is actually the 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 running certification but from tomorrow it will be slightly different where the to increase the perceived quality of the ecosystem uh, allow skilled community members to sell value-added services around LibreOffice and on the, the other end uh, free the individual responsible for the migration to LibreOffice from the global responsibility of the project so if you are uh, uh, if you uh, um, manage uh, a migration or a deployment of LibreOffice with the help of certified people, this reduces uh, your burden in terms of responsibility inside the company. Uh, it's a mechanism that all the people that are uh, familiar with the process have experienced. Um, what is peculiar about LibreOffice certification is that it is the first uh, and uh, still the unique one, the only one, from an independent uh, free office, uh, um, free and open source software community. Uh, the other certification are from a company. Uh, and of course, uh, they are uh, seen from by the company as a source of revenue and uh, a source of um, um, affiliation or uh, uh, stronger relationship. So uh, we have developed a different certification model, uh, which uh, uh, is uh, um, working, uh, I would say, uh, rather well, but uh, uh, we we have found some some spots where it can be improved, and we are working in that area. Uh, the certification uh, is uh, a way of uh, regulating the quality of value-added services, uh, and uh, to ensure that these services are uh, conf conform to transparent criteria. We of course, uh, certification uh, is uh, different uh, in, uh, in, um, between uh, uh, developers and, uh, and other uh, migrators and trainers. Uh, the program in general is, overview, is overseen by the board of director through a certification committee. Uh, the certification is uh, just a rec uh, um, recognizes the competence, but it's not binding for the Document Foundation for the actions of the individual. So if you are certified, you are responsible for what you're doing. And uh, so the quality and, and the val uh, of the value added services is uh, a responsibility of uh, the certified individuals. Uh, the certification path uh, uh, has always been uh, easier for TDF members and it 
will become uh, not just easier but shorter in the future for TDF members. So individuals are certified based on criteria set, set by the Engineering Steering Committee for Development and basically the criteria is uh, quality of the code you are committing and by the Certification Committee for Migrations and Trainings. Uh, the prerequisites are uh, defined and up, are updated by the Certification Committee. Certification last, uh, for, lasts for 24 months from the time of the appointment and is automatically renewed uh, if the activity is ongoing. In the case of lack of activity, uh, certified professionals will be requested to go through a new certification review. So far, apart from developers, uh, in some cases, developers that were certified uh, are were not contributing anymore to the project, so their uh, certification has expired. But for migrations and trainings, uh, all the people are uh, still active around the project. So for the time being, uh, all the certification for migrations and trainings have been renewed automatically, and most of the certification for development have been renewed automatically. The certification committee, uh, I'm chairing the committee together with Lothar, Lothar Becker, who is also the uh, Document Foundation Chairman. Members of the Certification Committee uh, uh, are Sophie Gauthier, Olivier Allo, Marina Latini, Gustavo Pacheco, Eric San, and uh, Franklin Wang. From Eric and Franklin are from Taiwan. Olivier and Gustavo from Brazil. Uh, Sophie from France, Lothar from Germany, myself and Marina and myself from Italy. Then we have three developers, Jan Olesowski, uh, Stefan Bergman and Thorsten Behrens. Um, we definitely need to uh, add some people to uh, the members, especially for migrations and trainings. Uh, just to summarize, uh, these are the is the profile of a certified developer. So is of course is able to develop new features, the research solutions, and uh, uh, it's uh, let's let's say that uh, the profile of a certified developer, the profile of a senior developer, uh, a senior developer. Um, who is um, contributing uh, on a rather stable basis to LibreOffice. A migration professional is able to coordinate the enterprise migration process, and it's uh, basically a project manager for the migration process. Uh, may not be able, as an individual, to provide all the skills that are needed, but is able to create a team and develop a team for the certification. A trainer, of course, is able to, to, to teach the use of LibreOffice at different levels and to develop training materials. Is also able to help fighting resistance to change and is also able to explain the advantages of free open source software over proprietary solutions. This is uh, something which is rather important. So certified people are brand ambassadors at the end. Uh, if uh, someone who's certified is not able to give uh, valuable support for migration and training, and this of course includes development, because development is key for migrations, uh, this will reflect badly to the, for the LibreOffice uh, project. So, uh, and this is, of course, the reason why uh, if uh, someone's performances, certified professional performances are not reflecting uh, 
the expected quality we will not renew the certification uh, as i said so far this didn't happen apart from people leaving the project for personal reasons or for uh, work related reasons uh, and this uh, will uh, also happen in the future uh, we will uh, maintain uh, the level of attention on quality uh, in the future as well let's say that uh, uh, during the last couple of years we have seen uh, an increase in the number an increase uh, uh, in increasing interest in uh, certification especially for migrations and trainings we have seen an increasing interest uh, uh, in some cases people were um, were uh, reflecting the prerequisites uh, and therefore either they have been certified or they're waiting to be certified at the next uh, certification review there are a few people uh, who are uh, uh, just uh, waiting for the date uh, we will set the certification review. Uh, other people were uh, uh, applying uh, for, uh, for reasons that were not related or not specifically related to certification uh, as we were intending, uh, which is um, high-level professional certification but where uh, in any cases uh, we're asking uh, um, to be certified for uh, good reasons uh, because they were uh, uh, using the certification to develop uh, the LibreOffice presence in a in a market in, in an area or they were uh, wanted to organize uh, some uh, activities uh, in schools or universities so looking at the this uh, uh, evolution of um, application there are a few new uh, things that are happening around certification the first one we uh, and this is of course one of the reason why uh, linux professional institute is sponsoring uh, the LibreOffice conference, we will start working uh, with the Linux Professional Institute. Uh, of course, uh, the at the moment, uh, we uh, will uh, work with them uh, to extend the reach of LibreOffice certification and to start providing uh, uh, LibreOffice certification for end users. We, the Document Foundation, will never be able to provide certification for end users because of the numbers. Uh, working with LPI, we will leverage each other competence to improve certification for end users of desktop productivity. Uh, so we will start discussing and working together at the syllabus for the certification and uh, also at the contents of certification. In the future, when uh, we will have face-to-face uh, uh, -face conferences, we uh, the idea is also to organize and use the certification sessions at the conference. And these sessions will be managed by LPI. Uh, the, the reality is that uh, LPI uh, and the Document Foundation uh, speak the same language. We are... Uh, our objective uh, is to increase uh, the penetration of free open source software through uh, certifying people, recognizing people for their skills. Um, of course, uh, uh, we have just uh, started the collaboration, so we will. Uh, there will be updates uh, uh, we will probably start meeting uh, on a regular basis with lpi to discuss uh, the activities and uh, there are uh, three talks by lpi representatives during uh, the conference uh, one uh, is tomorrow and the other two are on saturday morning uh, 
Uh, and uh, so if you are curious about the LPI or want to ask questions about the LPI, I invite you to attend uh, these sessions. Then there are a few updates that we have, uh, we will implement as TDF. So uh, there will be a, a basic LibreOffice certified uh, uh, level of certification. And uh, to access, uh, and this uh, will uh, be a, a, a first step, uh, which will be uh, compulsory for everyone uh, uh, apart from TDF members. So we are developing, uh, and actually we have uh, created a training syllabus for uh, this level. Uh, we uh, will create uh, uh, training videos. Uh, so uh, to access uh, the LibreOffice certified entry level, you will have to attend uh, training videos through uh, which will be provided through Udemy. Uh, the, ch the choice of Udemy, it, it is because uh, it is, uh, looks like almost a standard for certification. If you, you find uh, on Udemy uh, certification trainings for Microsoft, Oracle, uh, um, and many other, and many other soft, software, uh and uh, these classes will have a, a cost uh, a, not a high cost uh, and the benefit will go to the document foundation business entity of course we will be happy to provide this training uh, for free in geographies where the um, people have not uh, an, an income uh, which is uh, enough uh, to pay for uh, the uh, Udemy or which makes uh, uh, paying the Udemy online classes too expensive for, uh, for them. So we will be happy to work with uh, applicants uh, to solve this problem, but definitely we want uh, to increase the number of people that is certified, uh, but uh, by doing this, uh, we need to have a basic certification level, which is not the current uh, professional uh, uh, level. So the uh, we will keep migration professional and professional training trainer as as, as the certification level for people that have hands on experience in migrations and trainings. Uh, people uh, with LibreOffice certification, so with a basic level, will be able to apply for professional certification after one year from the first review, but they have to get experience on a specific project. So in that in that year they they have to work on a migration project they have to work on a training project if uh, and they have to provide extensive documentation about the project this again uh, is uh, extremely important um uh we uh, are happy to recognize that you have worked on a project but we, if we don't get the documentation about the project, so how you have uh, accessed, how you have managed the migration, how you have managed the training, and of course, uh, if uh, your documents are uh, uh, owned by a company because you are working for a company, we are happy to uh, look at different documents that you provide on a specific basis for uh, uh, being certified, but we uh, need the documents to certify you. Only TDF member with full prerequisites, so they, they have to be compliant with prerequisites, so they have to be professional, they have to be, they have to have hands-on experience on migrations and trainings 
can directly access professional certification. Uh, if uh, a TDF member has no re prerequisite compliance, it will have to go through the uh, LibreOffice certified uh, process uh, as any other person. Uh, last uh, uh, difference, we will uh, create and certify people uh, for uh, as, tra as professional trainers on a single application. So there will be a LibreOffice writer, professional trainer, calc, impress, draw, base, and macro professional trainer. Of course, if your uh, skills are uh, horizontal, uh, you will uh, get the uh, LibreOffice professional trainer title as before. We uh, will also create certification titles for senior migration professional and senior professional trainer for the certified professional who contribute as volunteers to the certification project. So the people that are on the certification committee will uh, and will, will, will see their title uh, uh, becoming senior migration and senior professional trainer, but uh, also other people uh, that, and we expect and we hope that there are other people who will be uh, contributing to the certification project uh, will uh, will uh, get that title. Of course, uh, we will uh, update all certification related documents to reflect uh, all what I've said so far. Something is already in place. Uh, something will be in place soon uh, on uh, on the certification uh, uh, area on the on the web. Uh, I will, uh, I'm also working uh, and uh, uh, I will uh, start releasing uh, uh, incremental version of uh, an index of documents which can be used for certification. We used to have a bibliography on the website. Uh, the bibliography is still there, but many links to documents have um, expired so at the moment the bibliography is uh, not uh, linking uh, to any document uh, the suggestion is to search for the documents because they may have moved uh, in the websites but uh, that bibliography will be uh, implemented with uh, additional documents that have uh, been published during uh, the last 10 years and uh, not only uh, there will be an index for all the videos uh, the training videos that are uh, covering LibreOffice there are many uh, training videos which are uh, freely available uh, uh, on uh, uh, online uh, and uh, there will be an index uh, I've already started I think I've uh, uh, indexed around uh, 300 videos and uh, I, so I will in the next few days I will uh, publish uh, that index but it will be implemented further during the next uh, months uh, and uh, also I will start publishing uh, uh, the bibliography uh, with the, uh, the name of the of the 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 documents and hopefully links uh, to the documents when these links uh, are stable enough uh, to be uh, to be uh, uh, uploaded to to the to the network so these uh, are the announcements about the libreoffice certification the idea is to have uh, uh, all these in place uh, uh during uh, during the first uh, at different stages between uh, uh during the last quarter of uh, 2021 and the first quarter of 2022 so between uh, october 
and March uh, 22. Thank you for uh, uh, listening. And uh, I, if uh, there are questions, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, you can write me and uh, Lothar in, uh, in the future. Uh, we will uh, be happy to answer your questions.